everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Let me move this. Y'all, I have been on such a great sewing rhythm lately. In a video recently, I had mentioned that I was going to get back into sewing for an hour on a project. I set a little timer on my watch. Sew for an hour. When the buzzer goes off, then I move to the next project. I find a, a, you know, a stopping point and move to the next project. And I have been knocking work out left, right, and center. It's been amazing. So I have finished all of the blocks and put everything together for chicken salad. I, I have these first two, three columns sewn together. And tomorrow morning I'll finish up doing this column to here and this column to here, and then the top will be finished. And I have been checking out all kinds of long arm quilting videos on YouTube of people who have done chicken salad and they're in the process of getting them quilted. And it's just so inspirational to watch all that. I really, really enjoy it. I got that done. I also, I had showed y'all a Psalms panel that I, got in my travels i think i picked this one up in the quilt shop that's in downtown bartlesville oklahoma i fused it to some pelon 987f and just put this on the long arm and then i did a very pretty feather quilting on it i don't know if you can see it better from the back maybe sometimes you can can you see the feather quilting any better from the back well so i got that done so that's ready to go and be turned into a tote bag. So the rest of that panel had six other, four other, four other pieces plus two crosses with different Psalms in them. And I am going to use for inspiration, hold on, where did it go? I had a, I had a Villa Rosa Designs pattern here. Here it is, of all things, it's called Amen. Now this uses different fabrics on top of each psalm panel. And they're, they're all the same shape. But what I mean by using it for inspiration is that I will, I'll make them all eventually the same size block. It's just that some of them will have extra fabrics down on the bottom and some will have them on the side. But they'll all be the same in the end, even if I have to border them. Everything will look pretty symmetrical, but I saw this and I thought that's a great inspiration. So I'm going to turn the rest of these into a little table runner. And I had plenty of coordinating fabrics from the rest of the line to go ahead and use that. I need to get a solid somewhere. I'll dig around in here and find a solid. So here are the fabrics for the rest of the line. I even have enough for a backing and I can do a self binding and all that. So that's great. Plus I have enough for the inside of the tote and the straps and everything. So that's great. I've got all this and I'm gonna get this to my daughter-in-law. So I'll have that finished. Also, I was working on the Riley Blake Spring Sampler. Hold on, I'll get it. So this is another one. I'm doing the Riley Blake Spring Sampler and I already did a video on how I added the arm and the eye and the nose using the Brother Luminaire and the Scanna Cut. And y'all, I did the exact same thing on the Buzzy B block. I've got that one finished. It just turned out adorable. And what I did with the wings, I used a shape that was already part of the basic shapes on the Brother Canvas. And then I went into the properties and resized it so that it matched the size that I measured on the pattern. From there, I did a right click and went duplicate, and I had two of them, and then I made it so that they were in the shape that the final wing set would be, and I just kind of played with it a little bit until so I got it where I wanted it, and I overlapped them just a tiny bit, and that way I could check and make sure everything was just perfect. Then I highlighted both of them and did a right click and a weld. And that gave me my wing shape. 
set for the bumblebee. And then I just uh, downloaded it to the scan and cut. Then I downloaded it one more time and captured the FCM file, saved it to my computer so that I could use BES4 to make the embroidery file exactly like I did the bunny arm. And they turned out adorable. So here, take a look. And the Buzzy Bee Trail, I tried to use the design center where you take the stylus and you draw on the screen and you create all of that. <sighs> yeah, that takes practice and not my forte. Again, drawing, not my thing. I ended up, it took me about five tries with the friction marker to get a design on it. It looks pretty close to what is on the box. Get a design that I like. And then I just used the triple stitch on the sewing machine and did that. And I think it turned out just fine. My loops leave a little bit to, to be desired, but I am fine with this. I think it will quilt out just fine. So I am very happy with it. <laughs> and I'm happy with it because it's the best that I could do. Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to say, what would everybody else think? I'm pretty happy with it because it's the best I could do. I tried for a couple of days, you guys, so I know it's the best I could do. You know, and there gets to be a point where you go, I'm not getting any fun out of this anymore. Let's get it done. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, it is hot down here. I'm in South Texas. Oh, Lord have mercy. We're supposed to hit 105 today, maybe higher. And it's the heat of the day right now. It's four o'clock central and scorching. It's just, you open the door and it's like an oven. It is so incredibly hot. And they're saying we're not gonna get back down to the normal 101 for the next three days. It's just gonna stay like this. I guess there's some high pressure system sitting over Texas or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hot, so. Yeah, you know, but we, we're conditioned for it. My very first day of basic training when I went in the Air Force was August 31st. Well, I was a band geek when I was in high school. And in band, what we did back then, you had to have, it was like a month prior to school starting, we would go out to the high school or even the junior high, I did this for years, and we would do marching practice for football games on the parking lot. Now you had to be there at seven because then by 10 o'clock, you know, it was too hot and everybody knew it. But we had had like 27 straight days over 100 degrees before I had gone into basic training. And I remember I was standing and I'm, I'm pretty tall, so I was near the front, and there was a girl uh, two or three over from me. She was from Connecticut, and we're all standing out there, and it's it's early in the morning. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't heat of the day yet, and we're in formation, and we're standing there and everything, and man, out of nowhere, just boom, she went down, and I was like, oh, you weren't allowed to move, you know. I was kind of like, oh, that looked like that hurt. <laughs> it's hot. And if you're not conditioned for it, it's horrible. We're conditioned for it, but still, it's, it's, I think, you know what it is, it's the older I get. But still, 6, 6.30, Hubs and I head outside, and we sit out under our covered patio, and we watch traffic go by, and wave to the neighbors and all that. We don't mind the heat at all. So, Keith has been out there, oh, for the last several hours, putting up, um, Chick, he's creating the chicken run for our chickens. They're getting big. I'll put a picture right here. Hey, little chicks. Hello. You guys want to be on YouTube? Well, yeah, you'll be famous. Say hi. Beep, 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 beep. What are you guys doing? <gasps> pretty girls. I hope you're all pretty girls. Yes, I do. What are you guys doing? You ready to go outside to your new hotel? Well, we're getting there. Here's the... 
There's the inside. I got four laying boxes. Pretty fancy. Yeah. He's going to put black trim on it. So there's the hardware cloth around the bottom, and it's buried down about a foot all the way around underneath. So that should keep all the critters out of there. And then he's going to cut a hole in this. Um, this is the old dog run. And he's going to cut a hole in that back right there and then extend the fencing from the side of the coop all the way over to the dog run. And they'll have like a board ladder that goes up into the coop right there. So this is pretty cool. They're going to have a nice, that's pretty good right there. And he'll put the hardware cloth all around the top so raccoons can't get in or the birds. And then inside here, so we have a tray for cleaning. This slides in and out. And then there's uh, split level roosts in there. And then This front window doesn't have a vent over it because the rain doesn't come from this direction, but those have um, where we can open and close those wooden pieces because sometimes the rain comes from that direction. And then, there. They're gonna have it pretty nice in here, I think. Pretty nice. The bottoms have hardware cloth across the bottom as well. So, lots of ventilation. They're about ready to go out in that run because, gosh, they're um, six weeks old now, I think. I don't know, five or six weeks old. So next couple weeks, we'll put them out there. Oh, you guys came on here to talk about quilting, not my chickens <laughs> and the heat. And my chickens will love the heat. They are a Rhode Island Reds. I almost said Long Island Reds, right? They, they, that's not such a thing. Fat Quarter Shop on the 4th of July had a bunch of patriotic stuff So, on their flash sale. So there was a package of red, white, and blue Tonga treats. I got those. Those are real pretty. I don't know how many are in here. It doesn't feel like 40, but it might. it is. It's 40. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay. And there was an American flag panel as well. Y'all, I just got this just opened the box yep so it's a an american flag panel we got that very nice and another panel I, let me see what the name of it is it, this was all on the same day and i got all four things this is my america by deborah edwards of northcott okay so, bunch of words, real nice. Got that. I just grabbed them all. The American flag panel is Timeless Treasures C1336. Would have been nice if they numbered it 1776, huh? So that's just Timeless Treasures C1336. And the fourth thing is a, put the bow over the name again. This is called Holiday Americana by Stacy. I think it's Sue, H-S-U. So we have a nice Americana jelly roll that came in. So that's really cool. That's very cute. Look at those little flags. That's adorable. It's by Moda, and it is Holiday Essentials Americana. And my shirt, it says, Choose Your Weapon. <laughs> I'll put a link below where I get my t-shirts. Those, those are not affiliate links for me or anything. I asked them. I said, hey, do you want me to promote your shirts? They're all, no, thank you. I said, fine. Lead a horse to water. Okay. I also ordered more of this fabric. This is Hope Blooms by Kansas Troubles. And I got this to be, this is just gorgeous. I had a piece of it already. And then I got more of it to be the backing. Where'd it go? I got more of that to be the backing for the Hello Fall quilt that I made 
This pattern is from the designer's website, and it's not Kansas Troubles. Uh, Y'all, I'll have to look back. I'll link to it below. I'll have to look back on the videos that I had to give you the fabric line and where it came from and everything. I got the panel and most of the fabrics for it at Calico Station in Florida on our trip. So I just thought that this fabric was beautiful for a backing, don't you? I think it'll be perfect. So ordered that too from the Fat Quarter Shop. Also from the Fat, was it Fat Quarter Shop? Nope, Villa Rosa Designs. They have the cutest little whimsical panel, you guys. It's called Cat Crazy Cat Lady, I think. Is that what it is? It is No Ordinary Cats by Bonnie Lemaire for Northcott Studios. No Ordinary Cats. Look at these. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. Just adorable. It does say Crazy Cat Lady on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make up a, another cat quilt for my mom. She's a crazy cat lady. The coordinating fabrics I got are these guys. Tossed cats. White dots on black. Kind of a cream. It's not really white. And we've got, it looks like cats on notebook paper. Life is better with a cat. There are no ordinary cats. We have heart with cat phrases, hearts. And we've got multi cats. And we have cat words on red. And tossed cat faces with hearts and words. This is just adorable stuff, you guys. I got a fat quarter of everything they had. Thought it was so cute. And there's the kind of the cream on a beige. Just really, really cute stuff. This is going to be adorable. And I could use this same pattern that I had used for this panel from the manufacturer's website. Okay. Use this panel and cut these up. And same thing. Too easy. I've got the pattern right here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> hey, Connie, thank you. I got your gift. And as you would like, I am going to give it away. Now, let me tell you the rules about this giveaway, okay? Connie sent me two adorable kits. This is an annual topper that Riley Blake has put out. I have two kits. They're going to go to two different people. So it says collect all 12. So they did one a month and she's had these in her stash for a while and sent them to me to share with you. So Connie, thank you. And you guys be sure to thank Connie too. Now, if you would like to have one of these kits, just let me know in your comment that you would love to make up one of the kits or you would love to uh, sew one of the kits. Do not use the word giveaway, win, free or anything else that a scammer might pick up on to know that I'm doing a giveaway to you guys. So that's another reason you need to watch my videos because I have a load of things I'm going to give away and they're all really cool things, but I'm not going to mention it in the title of the video. So you guys just need to watch. You need to subscribe because the winner that I choose will be a subscriber and it will tell me on YouTube if you're a subscriber or not. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you see the notifications the next time I put out a video and then we can visit again. This is going to go to two of my subscriber viewers. You need to leave a comment down below, okay, in the comments section on the YouTube video, not on the blog, not on the Facebook group. You need to leave it on this YouTube video and let me know that you would love to make up one of the toppers and you need to do that. Today is the 11th. You need to do that by June 15th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I will go ahead and choose two lucky viewers to receive each a kit. If you have a preference, this one is the April Bunny topper. It is just adorable. And this one is the June Sunny Rainbow topper. 
gorgeous they're just gorgeous so it comes with the pattern and the fabric for the top and the binding you're gonna have to put your own backings on it okay so you have until June 15th to leave a comment below do not put the word win giveaway free anything like that in there if you do I'll have to delete your comment I'm sorry but we just can't have that I've got stuff I got to give to you guys. Thank you to everyone who watches floss tube videos and y'all told me about how they do that. So that's kind of what I'm doing too. Also, on the world of the giveaways, do you see what's behind me right here? <laughs> that is Kimberbell's cup of cheer. And Lady M, thank you again so much for sharing that with my viewers. All right, this is for now, I'm not giving this one away on this video. This is a special, special, special giveaway. Y'all, I'm just over 49,000 subscribers. My goal is 100,000 by this time next year. But my first thing I need to do is I need to hit 50,000. So please share my channel with your friends and your sewing buddies and your guilds and your quilt stores and everybody and not only am I going to give away this cup of cheer when I hit 50,000 subscribers, which should be, uh, I'm gaining about a thousand a month right now. So with your help, maybe we can double that and maybe I can give it away in a couple of weeks. But also when I hit 100,000 subscribers, one of you lucky subscribers, I've got a special heck of a gift for you guys. You just wait. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. So, you guys want to hang out with me and sew? I'm not supposed to say anything. But, I think, I think, I think I'm going to be teaching some classes on a cruise in January. A Caribbean cruise. No dates yet. But I'm just throwing that little nugget out there. I went today and I got my pictures for my passport because my passport's expired and my passport card is expired and everything's expired. <laughs> so anyway, I went ahead and got my pictures today and I'm going to be sending them in so that all of my stuff is ready to go. But I think pretty good chance, 99% chance I'm going to be teaching embroidery classes on a cruise in January. So as soon as those dates are firmed up, I will let you all know, and I hope you can join me. What fun. Hmm? Okay, so enough about, I don't know how many minutes I am into this video. You know, there's been a lot of chat lately on the uh, blogs and vlogs and things about people having, I've been thinking about this a lot to talk to you guys about this, but people having anxiety and depression and they're just so nervous all the time about what's going on in the world and they they just can't handle the stress and their nerves are shot and all that and I think one of the best things you can do for that things that I do okay I know we we are not all wired the same but I think one of the best things you can do in that situation is to kind of realize that you really can't, you've really got to separate yourself from things you can't control, right? So sometimes when my life goes absolutely haywire, I will hole up either in my sewing room, but more often than not the kitchen, and I'll, I'll do my dishes and I'll get that under control and I'll fix a meal or something. I'll do something that I have control over. I, you know, I, I don't want to be dispassionate, but there are a lot of things that happen in the world that are sad and scary and tragic and horrible, and they've always happened, and they're going to continue to happen long after we are all gone. And I think the best thing to do in, in, in my book is to kind of rein, in, rein it in, you know, watch the news locally. And you'll notice there's not really a lot of local news. You know, you'll see a little bit of news and then it'll say, and in other health news, 
you know, you ought to eat red grapes instead of green grapes because it's better for your cholesterol or whatever. Well, they're doing that for fillers because there's not any other news that would really, that, that they want to report on, right? Because you can go elsewhere for national news and world news and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think that we just kind of have to not spread our emotions so thin because if you only work, because I can control what happens around me, right? If I don't like my elected officials, I can go vote and try to fix that. If I don't like where I live, I can move. You know, there's just so many things. Or if I do like, let's look at it in a positive way. You know, a, a lot of times, when we get, before I go there, and also, you guys, beware of the Jerry Springer effect, okay? And the Jerry Springer effect is that you see so much crazy stuff day after day after day after day after year after season after season that you start to think, this is all normal, but it's not. Because if it was normal, Jerry Springer wouldn't have had a show, okay? <laughs> None of that was normal. It's just that TV and the spread of the internet, while it's great because now I can talk to you and we can do all kinds of fun things together, the downside of that is, is clickbait. They want you to see a story, so you go click on it and you read it. And then you read it and all of a sudden you become stressed about whatever happened and you can't do anything about that. And I'm not saying, of course, your heart goes out to people. We're heart warm loving people but we can't do anything about it we can't fix it so uh disassociate yourself from the news that you can't do anything about right go back into your sewing room go sew something um go cook something go be with your family and you know i was thinking about talking about this i was on my way back from getting my um my passport photos made and I thought you know for all the negative in the world I really got it pretty good number one Jesus loves me amen right number two I have my health I have a wonderful marriage I have a phenomenal sewing studio I have an amazing group of viewers who watch me on YouTube and I thank God every day for those things in my life I've got dogs that want out of the room and you just have to kind of walk it back and think about all of the blessings that you have and focus on that it doesn't mean you don't feel sympathy or empathy but sympathy for those that are that are less fortunate if I could fix it all I would but I can't so I'm not going to make my health physical or mental worse because I can't do anything about that so sometimes you just kind of have to uh, give yourself a little reality check and be a little pragmatic and focus on the positive and focus on what you can control so that's my two cents because it can get crazy out there, right? Some of you are probably going to go, you're heartless. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. No problem. All right, you guys, we'll talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.